What do you find the biggest mistakes or misconceptions that actors are doing that maybe, you know... They're uh, doing too much. They, they, I, I teach, and, I, and I'm really a strong believer in this, that good commercial acting is good acting with less pauses and less time to prepare and more specifics in what you're doing. And most actors are acting. They're competing against other people. They're trying too hard to be interesting or different as opposed to just simply motivating the copy and believing that they're enough. That's the biggest mistake. I mean, you've been at auditions, I'm sure, where they walk out and they go, would everybody here just drop it down a couple of notches, pull it back? I, I've heard that happen at a lot of auditions where people say that, or women are wearing too much makeup. They're just trying too hard. And when you have the opportunity to either run casting sessions or sometimes if you have an opportunity, those who are watching, to go in and be able to assist at a casting session or watch people come in and out, I would say that the, the majority are doing way more than is believable or appropriate or makes them authentic for the audition. So I think that, let's say if we saw 60 people in a day, Depending on the level, if there's a lot of dialogue, the people are more professional and more advanced. But I would say that 20, 30 percent of them are shooting themselves in the foot by trying to be different or competitive. Hmm. They want trying, to stand out from all the other. They want to stand out. But you've got to believe one of the things about acting, <clears throat> especially with what we teach it, is it's that you're enough. Hmm. And that if you're physically right for stuff, you just walk in and you give yourself an opportunity. But... If you start trying to be other people or trying to be less than you, then they can never see who you are because you're busy trying. And that's the thing. That's the mistake that most actors do actually in the waiting room. I talk about this in my book. It's like they go and they look around and go, oh, you know, I'm not pretty enough for this. So they put a lot of makeup on. Or, oh, the people here are more interesting than me. They're my, more personality. So they start trying so hard. You know, one of the things about casting that I can tell you, which I think is kind of interesting for, for actors, hopefully it's interesting for you, is that when I get a casting breakdown. I try to bring in half the people that exactly what they're asking for. And then I bring in 25% to the left of that and then 25% to the right of that. Because you know, I wouldn't casting directors wouldn't be doing their job if they weren't creating uh, choices and opportunities for the casting for the producers and people and the clients to see a different way of doing it. Because when you've been working on a job for a certain period of time, you are very you have your blinders on. But when someone comes in and go, whoa, that's a whole, we didn't think of that. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, they start going in that direction. And a lot of actors just are too, they're living like this, and they don't, they, they look around, they go, oh, I'm not this, and I'm not that, as opposed to I am this. There seems to be a trend uh, in commercials um, right now for the the lovable loser husband and the I told you so woman right. and so I could see why a lot of women would try to well they're themselves but they're doing this you know yeah. they're copying the trend right now and it's really hard when, it, when, in, when in a commercial also they'll say could you please improvise and please only send agents please only send your improv actresses mm -hmm. and so you come in and it's hard to want to do less but because you want to stand out and make that funny joke but you that's what I know this sounds like a plug for my class, and it probably is, but that's why you go to an on-camera class, and you start to see within your range of believable and what I call motivated behavior, what is too much for you, mm -hmm. and what's too little, and where you get lost, and where you get lost on either side. Mm -hmm. And that's just it, because we can't, if you're a really good actor, you can't watch yourself. You don't know what you're doing. You're busy doing it. Right. Right? So, yeah, I, I you know, and... The lovable husband and the, and the pushy wife is what's in now, but that doesn't mean it's going to be in six months from now or a year because things go in cycle. Like, you know, during a recession, brunettes work more than blondes. You know, it's like things change because then all of a sudden there's a whole rash of these commercials and then people get bored with them, so then they come up with something else. You know, it's like California. It's like Los Angeles. If you don't like the weather, stick around. It'll change. And that's the same thing with commercials. They said that in Connecticut, too. Yeah. So it's the same thing with commercials, you know, it, the cycle keeps changing based on lots of things.